what's poppin' playboys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video gonna be doing a little install on SI. We're gonna be installing a clutch line from Russell's Advanced Fluid Transfer Systems. So uh, I'm gonna put the link in the bio in case you guys wanna go, the bio, I'm gonna put the link in the description in case you guys wanna go purchase this. They make it for 06 SI, but I'm guessing like it's 06 to 15 cause I asked about it and they say it'll fit, it'll fit the knife gen. So yeah, the reason why I'm putting a clutch line in the car it's because to run the K2 uh, short ramp intake that I'm supposed to be throwing in the car like like next week or something, whenever I get the free time, um, you need to relocate the battery. And to relocate the battery, you have to get the clutch line because if you don't, it hits your clutch line and can't use it. So yeah, today we're going to be putting this bad boy on. It should be a very simple process. I'm going to show you guys how to bleed the clutch. It's going to be my first time bleeding the clutch and I watched a lot of videos. I'm going to do the gravity method. If you guys don't know what that is, it's literally just filling up the reservoir and then they drain out and it'll push out the air. I'll, I'll show you guys, but yeah, man, let's get into this video and uh, let's hope for the best. All right, guys, I'm going to put you guys on. I went to Walmart and I bought these covers for $2. If you guys don't know where this is from, you guys need to go watch the movie again or catch up on some like comic books or something because this is the goat right here. But yeah, look at Dusty. Looking all dusty. It's crazy. I haven't watched this car probably for a month. And it's not that bad. It is not that bad. I definitely need to buff out my headlights again because they are getting a little hazy. But, damn. Dusty not looking that dusty no more. So let's jump into the video. So the first thing we're gonna do is remove the intake so I can get some access to the clutch line, which is right there if we can focus on it. It's pretty sunny outside today, so come on right there. So yeah, we're gonna remove the intake, uh, probably disconnect the battery so I can have more space. And then uh, yeah, that should be all I need. That's all the space I probably need. Let's get it. Alright guys, so I got enough space to get to the clutch line. See, I got an open access because put my whole damn hand in it now. So, uh, yeah, man. Let's get it. Should be very easy. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do, guys, we're going to move those brackets that's holding the clutch line in. So, uh, I'm going to try to put the screwdriver in it to show you guys. So, we're going to try to move this right here. And then uh, do that for both sides. A few moments later. Alright guys, so I got both clips removed. So, now all we have to do is access the... This part, the top part, don't try to grab on the bottom part because that's not what you're grabbing. You're literally grabbing the top, the top part to so zoom in. So this part right there, and then uh, untying that. I think it's a ten. Um, if you guys having trouble taking off the clips, well, not the clips, but uh, yeah, the clips, I guess. Um, what you could do, spray a little tiny bit, the WD-40, tiny bit, and then just work it in, and then get like a big screwdriver or. Or a big flathead like this and then like twist it like this like like that if you guys can see like that don't try to like push it out like try to twist it and it should should come out easily all right guys so i was trying to take out the clutch line with just a regular 10 millimeter and uh 
Yeah, don't do that. Go get yourself a clutch, uh, not clutch sign. Go get yourself a flare wrench from like AutoZone or something like that. And it'll make it 10 times as easy as removing this. So that's what I'm about to go do. I'm gonna wait for my girlfriend to come and she's gonna uh, give me a ride to AutoZone so I can go pick up a flare wrench. Because doing that with a 10 millimeter, all it's gonna do is strip it. And uh, yeah, you don't wanna do that. So, yep. Just gonna have to wait again. Five minutes later. All right, guys, so this is the flare wrench I was talking about. Uh, you go to AutoZone, and uh, it's like $6. No, it's like $7. Um, it's a 12 and a 10. So you're going to be using is a 10. And you can see how it has like a little bit more grip to it, so you grip that line better. So I'll think about returning it after I use it, but I'm going to keep it just in case I uh, ever have to change some other line in my car. So, yeah, it's a good tool to have. Um, you, can, you break it. And then once you break it, just unscrew it. Make sure you have like some paper towel or a rag underneath, because if you don't, you just don't. And um, probably just mess up the ground if you have a painted floor like I do. So I make sure I had a rag. Um, after that, literally what you want to do is get your, your new line, which is this one right here. And you just want to put it back the same way you took off the old one. I'm not really sure you guys how to do that, because it's an SI. The knife just like really cramped, so I can't really like get a good angle. It's just the clutch line is all the way down there, so. I'm just gonna show you guys after I put it. So, yeah, man. All right, guys. So the line is now in. It was kind of well. I'm not gonna say a pain in the butt to do, but it was easy. What I did, since this line has like a nut under it, I used the 18 to hold the nut, and then I got the 10 uh, millimeter uh, flare wrench to tie in the tops. And now I got it secured, and we pumped the clutch to see if any was coming out. There's no leaks. Uh, yeah, and I make sure the reservoir wasn't low. So like we won't be sucking in air. So yeah, um, now we're gonna bleed the clutch. So right now I'm gonna open this, and once I open it, take off the cap. Make sure this don't get dirty, and then uh, I'm gonna fill it up with some brake. Ah, I'm gonna fill it up with some brake fluid. Hi, babe. Hi. I'm to hi. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna fill it up with some brake fluid and uh, yeah, I'll get back to you guys. So make sure you guys like cover your reservoir like around it. So in case any fluid falls, it don't fall in your engine bay. Cause this brake fluid will strip your paint, your paint. So yeah. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just gonna fill it up to the max. Close it and top it. So right now it's filled up to the max. So now I'm just gonna put the cap back on. Alright, so once you top off your uh, reservoir with clutch fluid or brake fluid, whatever you want to call it, you want to open your breather valve. Well, I think that's what it's called for your slave right here. And then uh, it should start dripping out. I'm gonna do the gravity method. So literally, I'm just gonna keep watching it and watch it like go down as it goes down. I'll fill it back up and uh, yeah, the clutch should be good. So right now I'm gonna go give it a few pumps to make sure it's got pressured inside. All right. And now I'm gonna open the valve. All right guys, so now I'm flushing out the reservoir, flushing it with the new fluid. Um, as you guys can see, if I zoom them in, there goes the old fluid. I'm using a cup because, like, you know, uh, it holds stuff. So, yeah. Um, the fluid right now is getting clear, so I'm almost done with the old fluid. Uh, once I'm finished with that, I'll close, close the resin, close the valve up. What I used to open it was an 8 millimeter. I thought it was a 10, so I was wrong. But, uh, yeah, man, let's get back into flushing everything. Almost done. Liquid is almost clear. Girlfriend looking dear. I got a beer and I rap in fears. Ooh. All right, guys. Also, you want to make sure it's consistent. It's a consistent drip, like how it is right now. What are you talking for? So yeah, make sure it's a consistent drip, like that. As you see, it's perfect. And it's almost clear, so I'm gonna keep going. It's almost clear. But yo. That fluid right there is brown. It's browner than you. Look at that thing go, boy. Yeah. 
I think it's going fast now. That means it's perfect. And now the fluid's clear, slowly going down still. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fill it up again and just, uh, actually I'm gonna let it get a little bit lower and then I'm just gonna tighten the valve and then uh, fill it back up and close, close the reservoir and start up the car. Yes, sir, we did it. All right, guys, so everything's back and everything's in order. So uh, one thing we gotta do now is start the car. So here we go. Clutch felt good and I was pumping it and stuff after I stopped. So, yeah, clutch feels good. See if it goes in gear. Stupid. All right, yeah. Feels good going in gear. All right, guys. So I just went on a little drive, and the clutch feels good. The clutch pedal feels like stiffer, so everything feels okay. I'm guessing it feels like stock, but just. A little bit stiffer nothing that's gonna be like wow such a difference but it does help a little bit um so yeah man that's gonna be it for the video if you guys enjoyed it please like comment subscribe i'm thirsty as hell and yeah your boy's out peace